Race 7 is the Silver Cross Handicap Hurdle. It's a three mile grade three handicap. And outer limit is the top weight for Craig Beckwith, Casa Grande, Smiles, Vinnie Gerard, Cottage Wine, Craig Beckwith, Liberator, Darren Thompson, Rebel Run, Padre Hogan, Agnetta's Eagle, Graham Clutterbuck, Bookshot, Daniel French, Glamist, Alex Cherry, Thunder Rosa, Matt Cooper, and Vermod, Alex Cherry. Just a field of 10 for this then. It's the first handicap hurdle of the week. They're away and racing. A very short run to the first. It's the second three mile hurdle of the week though. And Outer Limit is in the lead. From Glamiston Liberator. Just the one grey in this, Vermod. Or Alex Cherry. As they pass the winning post, two circuits ahead of them. In this Silver Cross handicap hurdle. And Outer Limit, Liberator and Glamist now being joined by Casa Grande Smiles. Tucked in on the inside, Thunder Rosa, and then Buckshot. That's the leading group. Agnetta's Eagle. Wide right on the track, just a lost a couple of lengths on that turn. Rebel Run on the inside between them. Cottage Wine. And the Grey Vermont has now dropped to the back. So, out to limit. Glamist and Labrator. The leading three. And this very long run. To the second flight. Now to limit looks like a bit of a reluctant leader at this point. Labrator on his outside and Glamished on the inside. And Casa Grande smiles. They finally get to the second. Which they've all got over okay. Vermont about three lengths adrift with the rest of them. And it's out to limit and Labrator from Glamished in the orange sleeves third. And Thunder Rosa. And Casa Grande smiles. Only a short run to the third which they all successfully negotiate. Out to limit, continuing the lead for Greg Beckwith. Casa Grande, Smalls and Glamist with Thunder Rosa between them as they get over the fourth. Out to limit, seems to settle down into the lead. Taking on the front running roll, albeit it did appear a little reluctantly to start with, but now seems to be enjoying it well enough. Thunder Rosa is second, Glamis is third, that's been pretty much the same. Then Labrator and Casa Grande smiles as they get over the next. Bookshot Rebel running the yellow. And then Agnetta's Eagle still widest on the track. Cottage one on that one's inside and the Grey Vermont now only a couple of lengths of drift off the rest of them. And looking quite likely to join the group any second now. When it's out of limit. Who's in the lead? Well, on the outer course as well. Outer limit skips over that one in front. Casa Grande Smiles has jumped through into second. Agnetta's Eagle on the outside, maybe third ahead of Thunder Rosa. Then comes Bookshot and Glamist. They take the seventh. All safely over the seventh. Vermont continuing to be the back marker. Passing the stand then. And passing the chair. Outer Limit is going to pass the winning post with a circuit ahead of him in the lead. Leading by a good three to four lengths to Casa Grande Smiles who's second. Two lengths back to Agnetta's Eagle, Bookshot and Glamist and Thunder Rosa. And Cottage Wine and Labrator. With Rebel Run and finally Vermont. Just the back marker. They swing out of the back part of the track shortly with Outer Limit continuing to lead. Casa Grande Smiles with Vinnie Gerard second. And Glamis and Thunder Rosa. Bookshot and Liberator. Cottage one, Rebel Run. Vermont's gone past Agnetta's Eagle, who's running a strange race. Really going all that well at the moment. Over the track's a bit sharp for us on them, but it's out of limit who's in the lead and has led all the way. Good four clear coming into flight number eight. This is that long run between the two flights of hurdles, of course, and it's out of limit who will lead over it. From Glamist second, Casa Grande smiles on the inside third, then Thunder Rosa four. Then comes Bookshot, Labrator, Rebel Run is after that, then Cottage One and Vermont. And Agnetta's Eagle just struggling at the back as they take the ninth. And Outer Limit about to be joined, I think, by Glamist and Thunder Rosa. Casa Grande smiles on the inside as they take the tenth. Then Labrator, Bookshot's after that one. 
Rebel Run and a bit of a gap to Cottage Wine, Vermont and Agnetta's Eagle. But it's still out of limit as they take this turn. Three more flights to take. And out of limit. Let's see the stands in the distance. This is the third last, and over that one, out, oh, out, out of limit was over it in the lead. From Glamis in second, Thunder Rosa and then Labrata, Casa Grande smiles. He's just losing a bit of ground, then Rebel run, book shots after that one. And then Cottage Wine, Agnetus Eagle and Vermont, who are not out of it yet either. As they head towards the second last, Labrata's come to join out of limit. Labrata closes to us, he's just in front. From out of limit in second, book shot is in third. Then Rebel run as they come down on this second last flight then. It's Labrata who's now about three quarters of a length clear gets over it in the lead good jump though by bookshot closest to us who's come through to challenge it's labrator and bookshot from outer limit these three are clear as they race down towards the final flight labrator by two over this final flight in front from bookshot in second outer limit back in third casa grande smiles trying to run on this half a furlong to go and labrator is three lengths clear casa grande smiles is the one who's finishing best of all and is getting closer but labrator's got to hold on and up towards the line labrator takes it out of limit got back up to be second and Rebel run third, Casa Grande smiles fourth, and all the way back to Agnetta's Eagle, who was disappointing today. But it's Labrata who takes it for Darren Thompson. Already right, on from his good week at Cheltenham last week. That's another win for him. Labrata, Darren Thompson, the winner. Outer limit second for Craig Beckwith. Rebel run for Padre Hogan was third. Casa Grande smiles, Vinnie Gerard fourth, and Bookshot for Daniel French was fifth.